Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys my adventures with Pyramid. Pyramid, since the last patch was buffed, he used to buff a random minion on your side of the board by 3 health. And now he does 4 health. Wow, big difference, right? Actually, it is a big difference because typically when you're starting off uh, picking your first few minions, if you're smart about the minions that you take, if you know there's going to be minions out there that you can use until at least the mid-range part of the game, you're going to see that that extra health is the very difference of winning versus losing. The early game and mid game in Hearthstone Battlegrounds really just is that cutthroat. So that small buff, that small difference actually pushes Pyramid into, in my opinion, an above average hero over quite a bit of a below average hero before this buff. I encourage you guys to try him and, well, maybe you won't be quite as lucky as I was in this run, but you get the idea. I'd rather try Pyramid. actually very interesting build here depending on my next matchup i might be able to do a double wrath weaver oh right i should still play it right my mistake Tookie lost. She went to two. Best game ever witnessed, thanks. No problem. <laughs> the best game you ever watched. Alright. Alright, good, thank you. Pyramid is tier one now. Is that right? Okay then. That's really good. Yeah, I don't don't think we're gonna lose this. I'll taunt and keep buffing it with hero power. No, I think I'll just play the odds. Good uh, buff. Good. Then we do this. Level. Play it. I think I'm probably flow to shifters there pretty easily. Dragon. Dragon wouldn't get that huge. Most games are about 12 rounds. We've already played 3. So, 9 plus 2 plus 2, so it'll be like a 20 20 dragon. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Maybe I should have taken the dragon. <laughs> good point. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servos engaged. Okay. Why didn't I tear up? I was looking for demons. Maybe I should have teared up. This guy's like, he's undefeated first place. Like, <laughs> and down. That's a nice one. Another satisfied. Eh, I 
kind of sucks. You wouldn't expect that I have a cleave. I mean, just cleave first then. So you never buy spawn with this hero. I think it's okay. I give that thing taunt. It's not bad. I think I'm going to go to four and try to scale the floating watcher as well. Seven will be on nine. Yeah. I can, uh, I can get a floating watcher and the mech buffing guy. See? Cleave first. Easy. Oh, that's actually pretty strong against me. Oh, this is the new number one. I guess I'll probably play against Rafam next. No, Rafam just lost. Could sell the spawn, I guess. Sell the spawn, buy this, play this, sell that, buff. Three units. I think it's fine. I'm number one, whatever, dude. Give explorers nice boat. Great hats. Oh wow. Actually really strong. I will lose this. Okay, I did need a few more units. It's playing uh, Light Fang with every creature type. I've got some fresh recruits. Oh. oh, that's fine. A good tactical choice. All right. Four units. <laughs> it's uh, rough to take losses because I'm going to play a Wrathweaver build here. Four units? It's an upgrade. Exactly. I dodged a bit of damage there, at least. Oh, that guy's two win streak. I think I've only played against someone with win streaks this game. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Murlocs five. Quite like the Cobalt. I like where you're going with this. Six units, plus two from last round. What is that positioning? Playing Murlocs, so he probably has a taunt. Probably playing five Murlocs in a uh, buff slot, a taunt. Oh, he's got to kill the taunt, so the cleave actually likely hits three. Taunt will not have Divine Shield when he's just running a whatever taunt in this situation. Uh, that sucks. Damage. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Better hire a recruit while you can. Another 
six demons means no cleave. Four win streak. Okay. I'm surprised I haven't gotten either a Watcher or a uh, Iron Sensei. Those are the two cards I've been trying to find. Juggler build? I would say that's likely, yes. Streak's gone. Your minions really pulled their weight. I like where you're going with this. Solid build here. Got it, but this game is done now. Yeah, can't do it. Yeah, I still kind of have to do something like that. I need to split my bigger taunts, which would mean those. Yep. I not like having seven minions on the board this game. Yes, exactly. Actually, I probably should have frozen on the menace. Nah, I have three in there already. Wow. 19, 153. He will lose though. Oh no, he won't. That was a 50 50. I needed to attack that directly, and then my tokens would have been off the other battle master. 50 50, he dead. He is tough to beat though. Oh look, he's the only person with the win streak again. Alright, now I have to plan to beat him and that's a bit that's a bit tough. I got a watcher. I guess I might as well play it. It'll still scale pretty well. Let's see what he has. Ran and stuff. That's good. Yeah, everything taunt and I'll try to level next round. It's pretty obvious he'll lose. And he's just trying to buff his battle masters. It's not that many buffs for battle master, but there certainly are some. This will be a bit closer. Or something. 
don't know. Okay, roll one. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Yeah, yeah it needs to be something like that. Uh, I don't think I'm likely to win, but I was gonna win 50% of the time on the last one. Oh, that's terrible luck for me. That's also terrible luck for me. That's good. And that's terrible luck for me again. One terrible hit equals loss. Lost the 50-50 on the last one equals loss. Well, Pyramid's still very good. Just a bit frustrating that I lost to one big demon while playing demons. <laughs> I think I was very favored to win that overall.